Hi everyone. I hope you all are fine and happy at your homes. Every day you are learning a new story and learning a new chapter, lot of new things. So today I have an interesting topic for you all, and that topic is piped piper of Hamelin. You know, Hamelin is a small town in Germany. It stands on the banks of large river with hills on both sides. The center of the town is very beautiful with many old buildings. You know, long ago, the town was suffering from a big problem. This cause of the problem was number of rats. In that town, there are so many rats, and they were all around. They fought with dogs, killed the rats, bit the sleeping babies, and ate up all the food. And with this, all the people of the town are very fed up, and tried many hundred of ways to get rid of them, but they failed. That. They were unable to drive the rats away. They went to the mayor of the town and asked him to do something to get rid of the rats. But what can I do? Asked mayor. But what can I do? Asked mayor. I am paying ten people every day to catch the rat, but even the best rat catcher can't catch them. And the mayor become very thoughtful. One day, his counselors advise him to announce a prize for the person who would able to drive the rats away. And you know, in the meantime, a strange looking man arrived in Hamelin. The man was tall and thin. His nose was very little, and he wore a long coat with a half red and half yellow. He wore a red clown's cap on his head, and he had a long pipe, which was hanging round his neck. Everyone watched him curiously, and he crossed the bridge and walked through the narrow street of the town. Who is that strange man? They all wonder. Where is he coming from, and where is he going? They asked each other. The man walked slowly through the street. He did not look at the people. He did not look at the rats. He walked straight to the mayor's office. He wanted to meet the mayor, and he was allowed to do so. The mayor asked, "Who are you?" I am the piped piper," replied the strange man. "I see that you have lot of rats in Hamelin, and you are getting rid of them. If you pay me the price, one of thousand guilders, I'll get rid of you the rest." The mayor was amazed, and his mouth is fell open that you can let the fred rats away. How will you do that? Wait and see," replied the piped piper. "Do you promise to pay me one thousand by guilders?" "Yes." cried the mayor with joy if you can drive the rats away from the town i promise you to pay 1000 guilders the piped piper stepped into the street he immediately played a sweet tune into his pipe at first nothing happened but suddenly there was a noise and rat comes running out of all the houses and big small thin fat brown black all the rats are coming out There was a suckling, squeaking, and scurrying noise, and the street. All the rest rushed together around the strange piper. The piped piper walked through the town, blowing the pipe, followed by the procession of rats. The piped piper looked them into a river. He stepped a little into a river water. The rats also followed him. There was a strong current and river, and it swept away the rats. In this way, all the rest perished in the river water. The people of Hamelin were overjoyed. All the rats have gone, and at last we are free of the rest, and they are very happy. Threw their hats in the air and danced with joy. The pipe pepper returned from the river, and he directly went to the mayor's office. Now you must keep your promise, he said to the mayor. I have freed your town of rest. Give me one thousand guilders, said the pipe pepper. The mayor exclaimed. That's lots of money. You only blew your pipe for a few minutes, and I'll pay you fifty guilders instead. And Pipe Pepper looked at Mayor angrily. Your promise pay me one thousand guilders, he said in a low, quiet voice. You must keep your promise. But the mayor laughed at him and said, I don't have to pay you, because now the rats have gone. What would you can do now? Take these five guilders and go back to the hills. The pipe pepper shook his head slowly, and he did not take the money. He came into the street and started playing a flute. He is sweeter than before. At first, nothing happened, but then 
all the children of the city gathered around him. The pipe pepper took them to the hillside. The parents and the mayor tried, but no one is uh, stopping. They are continuously going. They could not at all. All the children are following the pipe pepper. Finally, entered a lovely den, and the rocking door closed, and the children and the pipe pepper were never seen in the city again. This is shocking, but it's true. Kiddos, in this story, we can learn that if you are promising something, you should keep your promise, because the promise and the words are very best. So keep your promise always. Till that time, enjoy your story and say bye bye.